Hey, talking to you. Please hold a test. This is your emergency broadcast system announcing the commencement of the annual purge. What you doing? What you doing? Guys, you want to be financially free, you got to purge. Look at You guys want to be financially free? What's cracking, everybody? Money smart guy, Matt Zapala, hailing to you <laughs> with my co-host, Brandon here. We're just having a great time here at the office. You want to let financial freedom ring? Let, let, me, let me take you around real quick. Let me show you something. Let me show you something that's pretty apparent uh, here on the 4th of July weekend where we want, we want freedom to ring, right? By the way, this is our office. We just moved in here. It's our training area. Let me uh, open up the windows here, just so you can see our parking lot. Just so you can see our parking lot. All right, there's our parking lot. It's pretty empty, huh? Yeah, it's pretty empty. There's my uh, Cadillac Escalade over there. There's a Victor and Anna, Mr. Porsche Cayenne. There you go. There's a Porsche Cayenne right there. There's my Escalade right there, Porsche Cayenne. The only vehicles in the parking lot. And yet it's... Fourth of July. I know everybody's like, you know, it's hot, barbecue, hot dog, blah, 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 all that type of stuff. But listen, man, I want you guys to know, listen, if you want financial freedom to ring true in your life, you've got to purge. What am I talking about purge? What I mean by purging is we got to purge a lot of the things that we're normally used to doing as quote unquote holidays, as quote unquote traditions. Now, am I telling you not to live life? Of course not. Am I telling you that... You can't enjoy the best of life that has to offer? Of course not. I mean, we just came back from a two week, two weeks ago, we just came back from a trip in Greece and uh, we had a trip of a lifetime. But what we, what do we do? We packed parking lots when nobody was in a parking lot on holidays and weekends and evenings, just like that. Yes, this is a financial purge, right? This is a financial purge. What am I talking about? See, here, here's my, uh, my whole thing. They said, Matt, what is the uh, what is the financial freedom? What does financial freedom mean to you? What does financial freedom mean to the people you're coaching and you're, and you're, and you're mentoring across the country? What does financial freedom mean to uh, the people that watch these YouTube videos, that watch our Facebook Live, that's part of our Money Smart Movement team and our company, PHP Agency, all across the country, 49 states, including Puerto Rico? What is financial freedom? I uh, mean, you guys, what is financial security and peace of mind and building generational wealth? Well, listen, here's the thing. If you, if you guys want to know, I'm going to share with you this story about how I started getting financial freedom in my corner. But here's what I need from you guys before I share it with you is I need you to share this video. If you do nothing else today, sharing is caring. Yes. And if you say, man, I, I want to be financially free. Well, one of the tenets is you got to be a great giver. And how do you become a great giver is by sharing content like this and sharing our YouTube page and sharing our Facebook page to let everybody know, man, there is, there's a there's a veteran entrepreneur out there. There's a there's a Marine out there that spent eight years in the Marine Corps. And now he's an entrepreneur in the insurance industry and he's preaching a message of financial hope because the message and the mission of the Money Smart Movement team is to transform the way people think, feel, manage and reach towards financial independence. And I would love to see that you guys share this video. I love to see that you guys drop your comments as you have been already and uh, that you share this. And, and guys, um, I've got this book I want to give you guys as a thank you for sharing this video. We're, we're going to randomly, Brandon and I, we're going to come back and watch all the different people who shared this video. And I want to give you a, a gift from, from literally from, from, from my desk. Boom, it's right. See, that's right on my desk. From my desk to your office, to your home, secrets of the millionaire mind, okay? I'm going to be able to give this to you. If you want me to, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll put your name on there from, from Money Smart Guy to you this date, July 4th, Financial Freedom Day. I consider not just the Independence Day of America, which is awesome, right? But I want to make sure that you have financial freedom ringing your life, but you got to share this video. You guys doing that for me? 
Cool. Appreciate it. Life gives to the givers, takes from the takers, and has a very accurate accounting system. All right. So number one, uh, as you saw, the maybe the replay, if you, go, you watch this live, are you seeing the replay of uh, having a financial freedom relevancy or an opportunity to enter in your life? Really, the first thing I would say is, man, you've got to make sure that you understand that the money game is a mindset game, that the money game is how you think money, your relationship with money, right? And, and, and oftentimes as adults, how we viewed money growing up, how our parents were treating money growing up, how people were dealing with finances growing up, how they saw other people deal with finances at their new job, that boils into your relationship and handling of finances too as well. So understanding that money is a mindset. You want financial freedom? It is a mindset. That's why the gift I'm going to give you guys for those that share this video is secrets of the millionaire mind because you've got to master the inner game of wealth first. Mastering the inner game of wealth first. Listen, here's the problem. You know, we're, we're having a conversation about a couple of years ago with uh, Grant Cardone, and he said, listen, one of the problems with your company, it's really there's a problem with our company, fast-growing financial marketing organization in the United States. You know, Oscar De La Hoya invested $10 million in our company in August. We're attracting a, a dream team, leadership team at our executive squad. We're, we're, just, we're just hitting numbers that we never hit before. We're, we're, we're 12, uh, uh, 12 consecutive quarters beating the last quarter. I mean, what could be wrong with our company? He said, well, here's a, wrong, here's, a, here's a problem with your company. My opinion, he says, is really the people that you're attracting, the people that you're going after. He says, really, tell me about that. He says, because the people in the middle class don't know how to recognize an opportunity. They don't want to manage their finances. They da 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 He was saying all these things about the market, the market I come from, and I'm pretty sure the market he comes from too as well, that oftentimes people don't know how to recognize an opportunity because they haven't been trained to recognize an opportunity, because their mindset hasn't been prepared to receive an opportunity. Their spirit is still caught up. And, and oftentimes people say, man, the fear of failure. But the flip side is true. Sometimes it's the fear of success that gets people from getting to where they want to go. How do I know this? I deal with people every day. As a financial coach, as an entrepreneur, coaching our offices from coast to coast, we did, we did a, a, um, a survey on our private Facebook group page. What's the biggest feedback you get from you aspiring and beginning your entrepreneurial career and uh in some in some of the in some of the comments that we received was you know i wouldn't say shocking i've been doing this now for 19 years i've been i've been dealing with middle income america for 19 years i come from middle income america matter lower middle income america but some of the comments that i would get from people is what's the biggest roadblocks and objections that you're getting when building your business here's a couple of uh, uh, things on feedback People not working with urgency. People they don't say people say they don't have money to invest in a business. People complaining about their situation but will not do anything to change it. People saying that man, I want to support you, but but I don't really want to get involved or give you any referrals for you growing your business. Or people saying I'm good, I don't need anything, but yet they have two jobs. They're driving Uber on the side. They don't ever have a day off. Listen, guys, our guys, myself, Brandon, Victor, Mariela, Anna, we got guys here at the office not because they have to be, but because they want to be. And so when we're looking, when we're looking at these uh, situations of, of being financially free, it's not like we're missing out on information. I mean, we do Google searches and YouTube searches and SEO searches Every week, I, I sit down here with Brandon. Brandon, what should we talk about this week with, with some of the feedback that you're getting? And, and we, I mean, you, you say, I do a Google search, and I do a YouTube search, and these are the biggest search terms that we're finding. So, guys, there's a ton of information online. There's a ton of tutorial videos online. But you know what it is that people are lacking? They're not lacking information, which is the second thing I'm going to bring up. So, number one is mindset. Number two, the second thing they're matching, if you want financial freedom to ring true in your life, right, is people are lacking leadership. Well, Matt, information, knowledge, and awareness. Knowledge is king, right? No. Everybody's got the knowledge. Everybody's got the information. How do I know that? It's online. 
Matter of fact, our, our CEO wrote this book, Drop Out and Get Schooled. Because people are going through their four-year degree or six-year master's or eight-year PhD and coming out and said, man, I've, I've got nothing going for me. And here in a second, I'm going to introduce to you a guest that's been working with us for five months. And because he unlocked and he purged and he, and he focused in what he needed to focus in on, you'll be shocked at what he has accomplished in five months. I'm going to bring him here in a second. In a second. So number one is mindset. Number two is leadership. You, 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 need, you need somebody to guide you and lead you. As a matter, I'm smart. Listen, I'm not talking about you being smart. I'm not talking about you not being intelligent. We got a lot of smart, intelligent people in America. I've got a lot of highly educated people with bachelor's degrees, master's degrees, and PhDs coming to our office all the time, unemployed and broke, deep in student loan debt. So it's not the fact that we're missing out on smart, intelligent people. We're missing out on leadership in our communities, personal leadership in our homes, personal leadership amongst our family members to do the right thing in terms of getting financial freedom in our corner. So number one is mindset. Number two is leadership. Is somebody in your corner making you feel uncomfortable? Is somebody holding you accountable and responsible for your decisions or lack of decisions. I'd rather you make a decision and screw up and find out what doesn't work versus you not making a decision. At least when you make a decision and screw up, at least you're going forward, not standing still. And the third thing here is that you've got to have a plan. Oftentimes I ask people, well, well do we want to be financial free? Yeah, what's your plan? I don't know, second job, third job? Well, that's a plan. It's not the best plan, but it is a plan. But how, 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 how are you going to deal with that when you're just shooting from the hip every day? You want to be financially free. It's not going to work. Never has worked. You know, in the Marine Corps, if we wanted to launch a mission, we talked about a plan. We talked about tactics. We talked about strategy. We talked about a rally point. We talked about what, what's the worst case scenario that can happen five, six, seven, ten different ways. And what's our reaction to when life hits us in the mouth and the mission doesn't go as planned? We have an alternative plan. We have a plan B, C, D, E, and E. We have contingencies. What's your contingency when you've been saving in your 401k, when you've been putting money in your kid's college education account, you've been paying your life insurance, you've been paying your mortgage, and next thing you do, your job is gone. Or you're in a business where there's a tendency to have a reversal where you're lending too much, you're borrowing too much, you're collecting money in, but it's going out right away. You got so much inventory in your shelves or in your refrigerator. You're not selling enough. And by the way, guys, that's a big reason why I, I found myself, stumbled myself. I wish I could say I was smart enough to seek, you know, to seek this out. But I'm thankful that somebody recruited me, put me on a list on the military base to reach out to me and follow up with me, to introduce to me to an industry, to a career path, to a business that's absolutely changed my life for this eight-year United States Marine Corps veteran that doesn't have a four-year degree, that doesn't have a two-year degree, that has a 2.2 GPA, enough to play sports in high school. And if you want to be financially free, I'm thankful that somebody discovered me and introduced me enough to introduce me to an industry that I can make a high six-figure income, and now these days a seven-figure income. And guys, I want to introduce to you at this point in the conversation, if you haven't done so yet, I want to introduce to you our guest on the show, on the Money Smart Show. Uh, this guy came to us. He, we had a conversation in December, literally on Christmas Eve. We make a decision going business together, and literally three, two, three days later, uh, I think it was the 26th or 27th after Christmas, I was on a plane to Memphis, Tennessee to work with this gentleman, to meet with his wife, phenomenal couple. Um, and it's one thing to have the skills and the know-how. And by the way, I'm not patting myself on the back, but there's synergy, man, when the right people connect. There's synergy when like-minded thinkers, especially to a guy that's willing to be coachable and not chokeable, right? And we've had some funny discussions. He's had some very short conversations with me, very – Short, you know, hey, let's blah, 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 blah. And I had some, some fireworks for him too as well. But listen, together, we're looking to both get better. 
I'm looking to continue to prove my concept. He's looking to improve his finances. We both want financial freedom. So guys, I want to introduce you, my guest on the Money Smart Show, hailing to you from Memphis, Tennessee, coming from a for former financial company called World Financial Group, and now working together with us here at PHP Agency. I'm glad to have him under our wing, part of Money Smart Movement team. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Mr. Edward Musgrove. Ed, are you with are you with us, brother? Yes, I am. My man. How you doing, man? Doing good, doing good. Man, I'm glad, I'm glad to be on the you show, did. man. Thank you. Dude, what time, dude I, listen, I got I got a full disclaimer. I've got my friends Rodolfo and Ceci on my mind too as well. They did some phenomenal business in June. And and uh, let's see if we can pan down to my shirt real quick. Let's see if we can go uh, solo. Ed, I know you're wearing a pretty cool shirt, but I'm wearing this. I'm wearing this shirt too as well. What does it say? We the people. <laughs> Listen, I got to give credit where credit's due, man. But uh, uh, if Rodolfo and Ceci Vargas, their team, the people that mentor across the country, if they're watching this, man, we just want to say, man, hats off to you guys. But they, they come in here from El Salvador, immigrants, not knowing anything, wanting financial freedom. They had to purge themselves from a country that lacked opportunity to go into a country that had opportunity. Do so, so I'm repping we the people today. Very proud of our friends in Houston, Texas. And mind, mind you, I'm very proud of you, Ed Musgrove. So how you doing, brother? Doing good. Doing good, man. Just enjoying life, uh, growing the business, and just just an honor to uh, be mentored by by yourself and, and Sheena um, helping out my wife. It's an honor, man, because leadership is everything. So, so tell me, brother, you, you come over from another financial company. You come over for, for, not, for another financial company. You know, um, and and lots of times people, you know, you, you're you're you know, people are, uh, you know, you come from the newspaper world, going door to door sales, you get recruited into the financial industry, and then you you you, you have some success over there. Uh, what what has been the difference? Of, you know, because people say, well, I can just join any financial company. I mean, how how would you answer that question when coming over here to PHP Agency? How would you answer that question when working with a group of leaders like us? Well, we all know that the insurance industry, the financial service industry, is one of the number one industries right now um, in the world, 63 trillion strong. But as I talk to other other new associates or uh, any of our sideline leaders that, you know, it's leadership. Leadership is everything. I was with a practice company for a year and a half back and forth trying to figure things out. And without that leadership, you're lost. And coming over to PHP, not only do you have you have leaders that's engaged, you know, with these other companies, these leaders, they 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 made it already, they arrived already. So you haven't washed down leadership from other individuals that's trying to duplicate you to get you to that next level. And with PHP, since we're so engaged, because we all have a common goal, um, so we can actually get you know ownership um, of PHP, they're still running. And the synergy of everybody wants to compete. And you yeah. see everyone run into a common goal, and when you're getting when you getting uh, a knowledge for building a big base or building something, and you're not in, in you're not you're not doing that. You're just writing personal points or personal premium. It makes you want to do that because you feel uncomfortable. <laughs> you want to get you want to get a knowledge too, just like the rest. So one of the main things is just the leadership, the leadership and the guidance. And that these big leaders, man, are, are engaged and willing to help you out to get you to the next level. So, so Ed, I, we, we got to know, ma'am, because I put in the description of the video. Guess what Ed did in five months? Would you, would you let the world know, man? Man, I'm still, I'm, five months. I'm still, I'm still like in a maze, but we actually did $100,000 in five months um, here income. with PHP and income. Um, that took us with the practice company, took us roughly about, a year and a half, two years to do, and we did it here in five months with PHP. So, so the way we go ahead, go ahead, Ed. Is the way we what? Our, our compensation is hands down the number one compensation right now in the world. There's no other company competing with us when it comes to compensation. Yeah, because sometimes people say, "Well, can't I just do this with another financial firm? Can't I just do this in an insurance agency?" You know, getting involved in the insurance industry is great. I mean, it's it's, it's a trillion dollar industry. People make great money in this industry. But so it's important about what jersey you wear. So what, what is going through your mind, Ed, when you're considering making the change? Because oftentimes people are like, man, do I make the change or make the change? And, 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 and truth be told, you know, Ed said, you know what? Hey, guys, 
my former company. Nobody follow me. I'm coming here by myself. I'm building from scratch. I'm building new. Why? Because I believe in capitalism. I, be, I believe in my skills. I mean, what, what are some of the uh, things that go through most people's brain when having to make such a big decision? Man, what was going through my, my, my head at the time, I was nervous as hell. I didn't know what to do, but I know I needed help. And when I saw PHP everywhere on social media, on YouTube, and I see all these guys winning, you know, laughing, having fun, I wanted to be a part of a winning, a winning organization like that, you know. Um, so when I called you, you know, we talked for a while, um, and it got to a point where you were so inviting, I kept on calling you and calling you. are like, listen, man. Let's set something up once you get enrolled. Once, you know what I mean? So I wasn't, even, I wasn't even prepared to make that switch, and I just did it, you know, based on, you know, me knowing that I want change in my life and change in my family. And I was at my lowest. I was at one of my lowest, and because of you, man, um, I'm getting there, and I'm constantly building and developing. But, man, it was, it was, it was, it was doubt. It was fear. It was worry. It was, you know, what do you think about, you know, the person that was mentoring you or giving you that guidance? What do you think that he's going to say? And what made me make the decision is that, you know, your loyalty, who are you loyal to? Are you loyal to a leader that's, that's actually made it already, that's, that's out of the game, but you're just standing around because you don't want him to think bad of you? Or are you, in, are you, are you doing a difference for your family, winning for your family, so they can be in a better position, you know, to change the legacy for your family. So my loyalty trumps family. I, I'm family all day long. Yeah. You know, we, we had a conversation this morning with our, you know, with our mentoring call with yourself and, and some of the guys were mentoring at a higher level, uh, much deeper conversations than what we previously had. And I, by the way, I enjoyed that a lot this morning. But, you know, when, 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 you, when you look at make a change, one, one thing we even said today that even as entrepreneurs, we're replaceable. Absolutely. You and I, we're replaceable. Sometimes people think, well, why are you treat me like I'm replaceable? Because you're making me replaceable. And you don't think there's a, you know, you know leadership, you know, is a two-way street. You know, I was, I was just watching a series of, of how the CEO was treating his employees. He's like, no, no, no. I, I make the call. I'm the CEO. I'm the acting CEO. You listen to me. You guys shut up. I'm like, man, that's one of the worst ways to lead people, man. It's one of the worst ways to lead people, you know, and because that, that's that's like leading by title. Like you have to respect me because I'm 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 your boss. Like people get that already. Right? People get that already. And so, what did you do, man? You, you said you know what? You had a lot of things coming against you. You know, you're you're you know you're having to deal with the rumor mill, but at the same time, you had to deal with your financial situation, right? And and and, and it wasn't that easy. Uh, in the first 30 days, you know, so let, let's talk about that real quick. People want to f- want financial freedom to ring, but they get so frustrated that things aren't happening in the first 30 days. What would you say to somebody like that? I'm not getting results now. I mean, stick it out. You know what I mean? I pondered my watch. I pondered my wife watch. I, I pondered my gun. I did what it took to win, to become a leader, because I knew, you know, based upon our conversation we had before I, I got into the agency that, you know, pushing through it, I was going to make it back. I was going to make it happen. You know I mean? What happens is a lot of people, they push through, they go hard for the first two weeks, three weeks, 30 days, 40 days, and they still can't see the finish line on the other end. And then they end up turning back around and going and bringing themselves all the way down back to normal. And if they just would have went two, three, four, five more steps, you would have saw the finish line. Yeah. Or you would have saw the next line or next level uh, that you need to get on to go to the next level. It's just that people quit so soon. But you'd be on the job for 20, 30 plus years or 10 years and always stay in that same position and happy with it. But when it's coming to, you know, self and better than self and improving, you have a time limit. It don't you know make sense. So yeah. It don't make sense at all. Because, see, I was an independent contractor, so I was under that, that self that that self-employed bracket so i knew you know that i had to push through and it was going to be hard but i knew one thing i wasn't going to quit i wasn't going to quit and that's with your guidance man because boy i was you, you lose everything when your money get low you know confidence <laughs> everything and you woke me up man you woke me up and it, i think from there that conversation from there it changed the whole business 
in general. Yeah, because you know every entrepreneur has that type of story, and sometimes people just don't trust the process of going through it. And, and what you said that people go back to being normal. Well, here's the thing I know about most normal people: most normal people are normally broke. And, Absolutely. And, and for you, right? But if you want to be financially free, you know the, the saying is: don't cry about the money that you don't have or the money that you're might not making from the lack of decisions that you're making. You can't, you can't cry about that. Oh, I don't have any money in retirement. I don't have money for sale. But you were unwilling to make uncomfortable decisions. You just want to go back to becoming normal. I'd rather be crazy and rich than normal and broke. And by the way, brother, you're getting a lot of love here from uh, Miriam Berry, uh, Danny Banks. Uh, Javier hey Castro is watching. He's a Marine. I served with in Somalia. Uh, he's with PHP Agency right now. What's going on, Devil Dog? I'm glad you're watching, brother. By the way, if you guys are watching this show, make sure you share it because I want to send this from my desk to your desk or wherever you want us to mail this to you. But we're going to pick a random winner from those that share this video. Share it to your page. Share it to a group. Share it to another page. Share it to your timeline. Share this video. Let the message know that there, man, there's people out in our community today letting financial freedom ring because they're allowing themselves to purge bad habits, bad uh, um, thinking, and sometimes even uh, uh, friends. Let's talk about friends real quick, Ed, because um, I know you're, 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 you're originally from South Central L.A., right? South Central L.A. My, uh, my dad stayed in Watts and my mom stayed in South Central L.A. Yep. So you're there in, 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 in Memphis. How important is a power of associations in the circle of people you hang with to you growing your business and actually having financial freedom ring? Man, uh, it's very important. I do go back home, not often. But as I go back home, I see everyone doing the same thing. No one's growing. Everyone want to hurry up and dress nice that one good day, get that nice good haircut to go to the club and, you know, have good times. And as I, as I, take myself myself away from that and constantly surrounding myself like leaders like yourself, um, the Richardsons, um, the sidelines, people that's doing great things, it forces you to be accustomed to their beliefs. Because yeah. sometimes you can have a conversation with someone else and say, oh yeah, I, I make a hundred thousand in five months. But if you're making fifty thousand, if you're around people that's making fifty thousand or sixty, seventy thousand a year, that seems odd, or I would think you're lying. Yeah, you're when you surround, Right. When you surround yourself around guys like yourself, 1.3 million in three years in the business, you know, their third year in the business, 1.3, now it's doable. It's not a long stretch to my vision because I have someone side that I, that I spend time with and talk to periodically on the phone that has done it. So association is so powerful. Because if you hang around five broke people, you're going to be the sixth one. Man. If you hang around five negative people, you're going to be the sixth one. So you definitely have to protect your association and your growth. And that's and I lost a lot of friends like that too as well. Because as I grew, my mindset stretched. And I didn't have that with World Financial Group at all, the practice company. The practice company don't have self-development that we have. We have a new book that we read every single month. And it's getting to the point where I'm reaching out to you and saying, Matt, what is the book What's of the, the month? Yeah, I love it. Because, and, and it's changing my beliefs daily. Yeah, and, and the, the hardest times, uh, we, we had a person that was, was this literally just got a $4,000 check today, right? She splits that business with uh, Gloss because she's still licensed. She splits the lawsuit, but she felt bad that she was leaving her, her church group of friends and she didn't want the church group of friends feeling bad that she's making a lot of money and driving a better car. So instead of breaking through to the next level and be a better giver and ser of service to others by being a local hero, she, she, she says, I want to get this money on a DL. Don't tell anybody. You know, I, wow. Right? I, I, I don't want anybody to know. Don't put it on social media. Da, da, da. And she's making... Four thousand dollars this week, right? Wow. And, and 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 so so I don't know. So what would you say to somebody who says, you know what? 
I don't want to leave, leave my friends. I feel so bad leaving my friends. It, it's like uh, I, I don't want to make my friends feel bad that I'm this and and the whole thing of well, don't forget where you come from. That that type of that type of uh, uh, mentality. I think that's a poverty mindset, to be honest with you, because it's a good thing that you're making that type of money because now you're showing the example to your friends that they don't have to work in the warehouse worker or they don't have to work a job. They can actually become an entrepreneur and they can do something that's doable because they see you are a normal person to them. You're their friend. You spend time with them every day. So they know who you are. They know, you know, they're because most people, when they see guys like, let's see myself and yourself, they think, oh, that's a lie or, you know, they're they're right. Yeah, he's been there already. But you're a proven example example when you have friends and you leave that group and able to make that money. So what what, what I would say to that individual is that if you really love them and care about them, you won't hide what you're doing. You won't hide your success. But if you don't like them, hide your success. Because you, by you hiding your success, they're going to continue to be in their same situation. But if you love them and care for them and you want them to go to the next next level, you need to show them their success and lead by example. That's it, brother. Listen, I, I wanted to show you something. I'm not sure if I've ever showed this to you. I want to show everybody in the audience. We may have shared this in some of our vlogs, right, Brandon? Yeah. So, guys, if, if you haven't followed our YouTube channel yet, every Sunday morning we have a weekly vlog. We're at episode 44 now, right? This Sunday will be episode 44. But I shared this on my vlog about where I come from, coming from the Marine Corps. And, guys, I had a side job in the Marine Corps. Right outside the base, there was a Jiffy Lube. And to make extra money, I, I kept – by the, this is 1995 when I made the decision to work part-time. So, Marine Corps, th- this, is my, this is my income – uh, that's my part-time income for the year, huh. right? I made an extra two thousand four hundred seventy dollars that year, working part-time. I, I remember taking time away from even my newborn son to work. You know that uh, I was on uh, uh, family leave. I took some time during that family leave to work extra hours because, guys, I was on WIC. Ed, you know what WIC is, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Right, right? Yes. food stamps and WIC, women, infants, and children. Because I, I was a single dad, <coughs> food stamps. I was in a, I was in the Marine Corps, and, and oftentimes people see you, Ed. You're right; they see us, and they see that all oh, they've always been there. They've always been thinking. I, listen, I've been at this game since 1995, looking for other ways to make money, and I realized that adding more hours to another job wasn't going to give me exponential return. Because as soon as I clock in, I clock out. I clock and make money, I clock out, I don't make money. That doesn't happen in business. Because in business, you clock in and you're building systems and processes. You clock out, you may not make money. You clock in again the next the next month, the next year, right? You're making money, you clock out. Okay, it's not the system and process in there yet. But boom, you clock in, you got systems and processes and more importantly, leaders and personnel and the right staff and the right team and the right people running certain division of your business, you clock out, but you still make money. That's Absolutely. the exciting part about entrepreneurship. By the way, can you show everybody your shirt, bro? What do you, what do you wear, man? I am, I am an entrepreneur. Yeah. And, man, uh, as, as we wrap stuff up, man, how, how excited are you to have in August? By the way, if, if, if you guys are watching this, you say, man, how do I get around your guys' vibe? How can I get involved in what you guys are doing? Yes, we're in the insurance industry. We're in a financial world. Yes, eventually you'll need a license to make money here. No, this is not a scam. No, this is not a pyramid. <laughs> Why do I say that? Because sometimes people see uh, um, stories like your ed, yours, Ed. In five months, you made $100,000 of income. People all make a jump to the negative. And if you want to purge yourself of who you used to be so you can be introduced to the next best version of you. We have a convention. Can we go solo on this? We have a convention in, in August, August, uh, August 14th or the 16th, right? August 14th to the 16th. We'll put some links here at the bottom in the descriptions, right? We'll send, we'll send a picture of August 14th to the 16th, thir- uh, right? Excuse me, 13th to the 16th. Checking on Monday, right? That Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, 30th, 13th to the 16th, right? And who do we have? 
is entertainment on the night of the 15th. You got Kevin Hart, man. Bro, how do you feel about Kevin Hart? I'm excited, man. Coming excited, right man. That's, that's a lot right there. Kevin Has, Hart, he's never he's never did anything like this for agency. So, I mean, we, we're already breaking records and, and breaking, breaking all kind of craziness here at PHP. You know, and we're just getting started. Just getting started. Bro, 150, 150 million people follow him on social media. Bro, the world will know about what we're doing, how we're doing it, the people that we're impacting, the people that we're attracting. And, bro, are you ready for the influx of people that are going to say, you know what? Is there people in Memphis, Tennessee that are associated with this company that Kevin Hart's speaking on their stage with this company with a CEO named Value? They Patrick but David that has a channel called Value Tainment that has over 750,000 subscribers on it. That's reaching not only everybody in the United States of America but all across the world. How do you, how, how do you feel, man, knowing that we have a we're we're, we're a, the leading edge of this whole entire thing, and you're a pioneer of Memphis, Tennessee. I'm getting the chills. <laughs> I'm getting the chills right now. My hairs are sticking up on on my arms. I mean, it, I'm just excited. I'm excited about that. Like I always prayed about this type of opportunity. When I was with a practice company, man, I prayed that I wish I was in the beginning where the big leaders were at and I was in the base shop and where would I be five, six, seven years if I started, you know, the base shop. And now I have an opportunity to be around yourself, be around Pat, be around Sheena. And actually I manifest that to the point where I have a big leader that's still engaged teaching me the game. So now I see myself at 38 years old, I see myself in the next five years, a multi-millionaire. Yeah. yeah. And I haven't even got started yet. Yeah. I haven't even got started yet. And the, the, exciting, like, the exciting part about what you just said there is that people, most people that work a job or a business that's just the same old, same old day in, day out, the reason why we feel the way we feel about our business in our industry, because we have a scalable system. We have a $63 trillion industry that we're doing business in. When there's no players, there's a blue ocean strategy. There's a blue ocean strategy. Everybody is overlooked, underserved, and not serving the multicultural middle class. And that's how why we're, we're attracting eyeballs and attention like a Kevin Hart's. We're attracting investors right. like Oscar De La Hoya because of the work you're doing in the field, making, making stuff happen there, man. But, and, Matt, what people don't understand, though, is that – at a job, I'll be I'll be a rookie five months in. This mm -hmm. is only five months. I made a hundred thousand in survival mode. <laughs> I'm figuring it out. That's survival mode, a hundred thousand. So just imagine when you speed up the process and now you know your business in and out, where you can run everything with your eyes closed. Your income would triple because now you can duplicate proven leaders and more leadership to go out there and help out the community. So we're it. just getting started. I love it. Yeah, because if you guys, uh, the, the stages that Ed is talking about, the first stage of entrepreneurship is survivability. And the second, right? Then the second stage is you start getting paid what you're worth. And the third stage is having some financial freedom. And the fourth stage is working with purpose. You know, you're, 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 you're working more purposeful. You get out of bed every morning. You're, you're working out of purpose. What a great place to work out of and because here's the thing man bills are right here and most people's income is right here right and then then when bills come up boom knocks them off their income but what you are doing ed bills are right here what you're doing like this with this is the income not to say that bills don't ever pop up right bills pop up boom cut a check bills pop up boom, cut a check. and that's what's happened with your life your business and He's extremely happy what you're doing, man. Listen, bro. Like a, a big, a big challenge just happened when we had to go out of town to D.C. for Jamie's brother. He he just got married. Nice. And her mom, her mom, her sister, her sister's boyfriend. I mean, her sister husband. My apology. Her son, my daughter, my son, my wife, and myself. A challenge arose. Tickets were messed up. They spent they spent a few hundred bucks, but they was exhausted. He works for Toyota. He didn't 
he 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 works for Toyota. Um, her mom works for FedEx, but that but they didn't have the income to buy another ticket right then and there to get to the wedding. Mm. So just because of PHP, you know, and and we, what we teach, we just because we make money, we don't go spend. We save too as well. I was able to buy over, I say what, ten tickets to fly everybody to DC because of our hard work ethic and us making money and what PHP has blessed us to do and, and your leadership. If man. I, if I, if I didn't have that leadership and that, that work ethics and building, man, we would have been stuck and we would have missed her brother's wedding. See it, it, the, the long evenings, the long weekends, the closeout nights, Whew. the Sunday afternoons, is it all starting to pay off, man? Absolutely. It's becoming, it's, it's getting easier and becoming clearer every single day. Every single day. And, and then people that don't understand it because you haven't purged that. I'm just not saying you got to purge them like the movie purge. I mean, by the way, disclaimer, no murder. I'm going to talk about that. It's a movie. And I'm <laughs> right. not talking about it anyway. But you got to mentally purge them from their effect and influence on you because most of them won't understand the long days and the long weekends and the Sunday afternoons and they'll guilt you. They'll guilt you saying, why are you working so hard? Family first, right? right? Well, listen, family first, right? When I needed to buy 10 plane tickets. Exactly. Family first when another emergency comes up, my wife with confidence can swipe a credit card and the last thing that my wife is stressing about is money. And by the way, I just realized we have two things in common. Me and What's you. That? Both our wives are pregnant. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, <D. laughs> Why? Inside joke, guys. All right. We're talking about business. We're talk about business. business. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> but 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 think about it, man. The the greatest confidence I have now that you and I both have is this feeling of like overwhelming confidence because we got control right here. Sometimes people think, man, entrepreneurship is rough because, you know, it's, it's up and down, up and down, up and down, and and uh, uh, nothing's guaranteed. Well, shit, you think your your job is guaranteed? You, you think, you think uh, the typical business out there is guaranteed? Listen, we don't have a typical business. Why? Because we don't have inventory. We don't have... We don't have uh, uh, accounts receivables or people owe us money. You know, we we're, guys, we're in the insurance industry. You work, you get paid, right? And so, I mean, how do you feel about always having control? That Jamie's got absolute control. And then you feel like, man, you feel like a champ. You feel like a stud, man, because, hey, sweet, what you need? What you need? What you need? Here you go. Slide that card. It feels good. It feels good. The fact that I'm able to work with my wife. Yeah. That we're we're swinging together and competing together and teeing it up, it feels good. I get to see my wife every single day. Uh huh. She's yep. not working for anyone at all, mm -hmm. and she's able to. And she's a she's able to tell me my what I need to do. That what what I don't see. Like, hey, I think it's best for you to go train today. She see. I can say, no, nah, let this person go train today. No, I think it's best for you. They need to hear you. So the my wife is able to guide me and she's able to see, you know, behind me and side by side to push us to the next level. Yeah. I mean, it feels good, man. And I can see the, the, the relief off of her because as I talked to you at the beginning, I was like, Matt, I lost my respect. And you're like, man, what do you mean you lost your respect? Mm -hmm. And I was like, man, I'm not making income no more, man. Like my income is falling. You're like, wake up, wake up. <laughs> push through it and the fact that i woke up man it's like it's a yes it's five months but our arguments we can filter them filter our arguments way easier now based upon the books we read because of php based upon the leadership because my leader is married and he goes through the same not the same but similar situations mm -hmm. that he can coach me through and the fact that we're in business together and we're making income and we know if we get into an argument like we did before, that we will lose our championship belt again. Yeah. So we know the effects of that, and we just fight through it now. It feels good, man. I go to sleep every night knowing that we're teeing it up and we're 
fighting for the same common goal together. You're purging the arguments in dialogue that doesn't serve your end goal. That's what you're doing. And so oftentimes people get caught up in an argument unnecessarily because of financial stress, because it can't control their financial situation. But if you're willing to purge and get through those arguments, and that's what I love about entre entrepreneurship is teaching us is how to be better husbands, to be better communicators. And guys, I, you know, how many times do we argue with ourselves you know, we have this negative self-talk. Sometimes we wrestle with our own thoughts. We wrestle with our own dialogue. We beat ourselves up and thinking that, <laughs> right? <laughs> and, and then we're trying to get along with somebody else that's probably wrestling with themselves. And we're trying to have a great relationship together. And so, bro, I, I appreciate you coming on, man. And, and, um, and for those of you out there who's watching this show, uh, if you haven't shared this and and exposing the message of purging negative thoughts, thinking, actions, habits, sometimes people, most times people, out of your life, <laughs> you will not get financial freedom to ring in your life. And share this message, and we'll pick a, a person that, that will win this book. Anybody that, a uh, random word, we're going to pick a random person that shares this, probably the one that shares it in the most groups, the most pages. We'll, we'll track that we keep a count here. Secrets, Secrets of the Million. It's not my book. It's written by T. Harv Eker. Mastering the inner game of wealth. Why? Because money, before it's in your pocket, starts off with your mindset and, your, and in your spirit, your relationship with money. So if you guys want to follow Ed, his name is Edward Musgrove. He's our guy, my guy, in Memphis, Tennessee. Made $100,000 in five months because he purged ego. He purged pride. He purged uh, negative self-talk. He purged uh, the, a defense mechanism that will allow somebody to come into his life to guide him in a much di different way because he purged all that, and this is the result. And by the way, you just like you said, you just started, bro. You're just starting to figure this out. You are not slowing down. And I'm looking forward to you hitting your $250,000 income this year, $500,000 income this year, and start making this $100,000 income a month. Woo! Absolutely. Cool. Oh man, Ed, Besides, man. appreciate you, man, and and you go on and you have a good rest of your barbecue. For those of you watching this on YouTube replay, make sure you click subscribe. Make sure you click the notification button uh, to be alerted the next time we upload the next episode. Make sure you check our episode this Sunday, eight a.m. Central Standard Time, for episode forty-four. I think the episode is how to make phone calls. How to make phone calls? A basic fundamental of entrepreneurship is how to. Pick up the phone and make phone calls. That's how Edward Musgrove and I connected. If you're watching this on Facebook, do me a favor, mash that like button, join our community, and share this video too, man. So uh, uh, on behalf of Edward Musgrove, I'm your money smart guy. Thanks for tuning in. And uh, happy 4th of July, man. Let financial freedom ring in your lives. Cool? Ed, appreciate you, man. I think you froze up. Cool. So on behalf of Ed, Ed Musgrove, I'm your Money Smart Guy from the Money Smart Movement team of PHP Agency. Love it, man. I love all your comments. Miriam, uh, Miriam uh, Mama Berry, David Berry, uh, who, who else is commenting here too as well? Uh, Danny Banks. Well, yes, let's, scroll, let's scroll down. Let me, just, let me just scroll down real quick. Javier Castro, Rubiel, appreciate you, man. Jacob Barajas, Monique Welch, appreciate you. Uh, um, Melina Gonzalez Bayas, appreciate you guys. Rep, Rep Sin Young, and awesome, cool guys. Happy Fourth of July, happy birthday, America. And I want financial freedom to ring in your life. Drop a comment below, let me know your thoughts, let me know what you're thinking, let me know what topics that you want us to talk about, how to make financial freedom ring true in your life. And remember. Before money ends up in your pocket, it's got to first start with your stinking thinking. Purge that. Purge the negativity from your life. Purge the habits that don't serve you. And make sure that what you say is followed by actions equivalent to what you're doing, to what you're saying. Make sure that they're congruent. That being said, guys, love you guys. Happy Fourth of July. And until we meet again, continue to live smart, 
Continue to love smart and be money smart today.